you guys so today I'm gonna show you a quick dinner idea that I used to make all the time when Trent was small and I just was like in a rush for time when I would be getting off of work late and I just wanted to whip something up that felt like hearty and it felt like just super homemade but yeah it was just like something quick in a box so yeah it's the Zatarans red beans and rice and before Jamaica became like my second home like this was my idea of like rice and peas or red beans and rice um, so this is how I always had it growing up and we had it with cornbread and with sausage so this was like the quick version to make that and my grandpa he always would make it for my mom his his of course went Zatarain <laughs> you know it was homemade but we just love this like southern type of dish so anyway I am so sad you guys how about earlier just to prepare for this video I went ahead and unthought this and then I went in the refrigerator looking for it so that I could make it and I'm like where the heck did I put the sausage at like where did I put it I looked through the whole refrigerator girl why well, I put it back in the freezer and now it's frozen <laughs> so I'm so sad so I'm just gonna go ahead and work on this first and the cornbread first and um, I'm just gonna let this sit in some warm water and hopefully it unthaws pretty quickly um, but yeah you guys this is gonna be really quick because that is the purpose of this meal <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it before we get into our meal this video is sponsored by my friends at Skillshare if this is your first time hearing of them Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators it's a place where you can explore new skills and tap into your creativity Skillshare is curated specifically for learning meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so that you can learn something new they have classes for bettering your social media and Instagram photography graphic design and more one of the classes that I've taken and recommend is food photography shooting in five styles by Leela Sid I love this class because I'm always looking for ways to improve my social media presence and bring you guys quality content and I really want to start posting like those Pinterest worthy shots on my Instagram and one key tip that I took away from her class is that we can create different moods with food photography just by using different lights sources and props even by adding people in the photo with the food she gives great ideas on how to set up your shot either overhead three quarters or straight on to get the exact look that you're going for so I definitely recommend for you guys to check out Skillshare it is so beneficial it's super affordable and in my opinion it's just fun to experience I will be sure to leave the link in the description box below for you guys also the first thousand people to use this link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so that you can explore your creativity and learn more about the topics that interest you special thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this portion of the video so for each box you're supposed to mix three cups of water the rice mix the meat of your choice and two tablespoons of butter or olive oil we are looking like um i have four cups of water here so i'm gonna go ahead and start with that and we're not gonna be able to put our meat because it's frozen so we're gonna add that in a bit but if you didn't do what i did then you should put your meat in at this time so because I'm going to do two boxes, I don't remember how much this makes, if it's going to make a whole bunch of rice or what, but um, since I'm just going to do two boxes, I'm going to have four tablespoons of butter, which is, which works out to be a half a stick of butter. Here's my butter. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And then everything is mixed in with the Zatarain. So, oh my gosh, it smells so good. All the flavors and seasonings, everything is in there. And one thing about Zatarain is you do not have to add no extra seasoning, girl. And you know, I'm the seasoning queen and you do not have to do that with them. So... Okay. 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and give that a good mix. And then we're going to bring it to a boil. And then we're going to reduce the heat to low, cover, and simmer for 25 minutes. So while I wait for this to boil, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the cornbread. Okay, you guys, so the sausage ended up unthawing way faster than I thought. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that so that we can add it to our rice and beans faster. So I'm going to go ahead and slice this up. We're going to brown them really quick and then we're going to add them to our rice and beans. Okay, so now that it's come to a boil, I'm going to go ahead and reduce the heat, cover, and cook for 25 minutes. Okay, you guys, so the sausage has been added. We only have about 11 more minutes of cook time, so I'm gonna go ahead and recover this. This will be saucy, so you wanna let it sit just a little bit after it is finished. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get into this cornbread. Okay, you guys so our red beans and rice are done I'm just I just have it sitting off of the heat letting it all set and marinate and now I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven I decided to just use muffin liners just to make it much easier for me not to grease a pan or anything like that and y'all I have not had corn bread in forever y'all don't even know how much I love cornbread i have to try a keto cornbread one day but typically i would add sugar or a whole bunch of butter i did add some butter but not a lot but back in the day i would add a whole bunch of butter and sugar it'd be pretty much cornbread cake you understand so um, i'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes and yeah then we'll be pretty much done bad -o -sale, bad -o -sale, bad -o -sale. 
Here is my finished red beans and rice with a sausage. Y'all, I thought that I was recording when I was putting it in the bowl and I wasn't even recording, girl. I was like, what am I doing? So sorry I didn't get that for you guys, but why does my house smell so bomb? And this looks so delicious. I wonder if it tastes like it used to taste when I used to make it back in the day. So let's go ahead. And give this a taste oh mm -mm. boy boy okay let's see mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah When I say that this hits the spot, it hits the spot. If you want that homemade southern type of feel without all of the work, then this would definitely be for you. Let me go ahead and taste this cornbread. Oh my gosh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You can't go wrong with Jiffy. Another good cornbread is... um. Marie Calendars. So yes, you guys, this is a delicious quick meal on a budget, red beans and rice. So yes, you guys, that concludes my video. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys check out Skillshare in the description box below. And until my next video, have a blessed day, have a blessed week, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Ooh, ooh, ooh.